Hey guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I organize my bag using pouches. For the past two months, my daughter has been competing in cheer competitions every other weekend. And a couple of weeks ago, I shared this picture with you guys at one of the cheer competitions. It is my whipping post tote with all of my pouches organized inside of it. And I had a lot of people ask me what was inside each one of the pouches. So I thought I would share that information with you today. Before I get started with anything in this video, I just want y'all to bear with me on the video quality. I am using my new camera today, but I'm still learning the ins and outs of the technology. I've read the manual and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not sure if I need to film in manual focus or if I need to film in autofocus. So I have done it in manual focus and then I've done it in autofocus. So I want y'all to tell me what you think about the quality of the video. Is it, is it making you nauseous or if you think it's good, please let me know in the comments below. Before I get into the contents of each one of the pouches, I just wanted to share all of the pouches with you guys. And we're gonna start with my Erin Condren Carry All Clutch. Now, if you are wondering, I've had a lot of questions about this clutch. This holds the 18 month planner. That's what I have inside of this. This is the regular size Carry All Clutch. I know you can get a bigger one. I'm not sure if it's big enough to fit an iPad or, I mean iPad. I'm not sure if it's big enough to fit a laptop or not, but I know the regular size Carry All Clutch is big enough to store the 18 month planner. Then I have four pouches from Marine Parents. If you've never shopped from Marine Parents, I highly recommend them. They are on Etsy. They have high quality handmade products and they are the sweetest people to order from. So definitely give them some business. Okay, in the black and polka dot, the black with the gold polka dotted print, I have the iPad sleeve and I have the pencil pouch. And then in the floral print, I have the iPad sleeve and the project pouch. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to share what is in this tote that's not in a pouch. The first thing is my Huggies clutch that I carry in every one of my bags. It has just wipes inside of them. When I run out of wipes, I just go to Walmart and I get the parent's choice set of wipes because they work really well and they're a little bit cheaper than the other ones. So you can get these little clutches in the baby department at any retailer. And then I have my external hard drive that I carry everywhere with me. And I know I've had some people ask me what I carry on my external hard drive. In the next couple of months, I think it's the end of April, I'm going to be starting a how-to series. And the first thing that I'm going to cover is how I organize my files on my external hard drive. And then the last thing that's in here that's not in a pouch is my pill organizer. And right now I need to refill it, but this goes everywhere with me to work, shopping, out to eat, just in case I need to take medicine and I'm not at home. Now we're gonna get into the pouches. And I'm gonna start with the one that you already know what's inside of it, and that would be my Erin Condren Carry All Clutch. So inside of this clutch, Inside of this clutch is my life planner, and this is the pink elastic band, and this is the life in little squares template. So all I did was I chose that option on erincondren.com, and I had saved all of these pictures, and I just uploaded them and placed them on the planner where I wanted them. I love this. Love it. And then I have... A, just a plain little notepad just in case I need something to write something down on. This came from the Target Dollar Spot. And then last but not least, inside of this is the um, sticky notes from Erin Condren. And yes, I know this is supposed to be clipped inside of your planner, but right now I don't have it clipped inside of my planner because I was switching to March, so I haven't put it back into place yet. So that is all that is contained within my carry-all clutch. And all of these things fit nicely and you could fit a few more things in there if you needed to, like some stickers, 
I've put pins in here and they fit great. So if you're wondering, this is stretchy fabric and it does fit a nice amount of things besides just your life planner. Okay, the next set I'm gonna go through is going to be the black with the gold polka dots. Now, this is the iPad sleeve, like I said, and I basically use this for basically my financial stuff. So inside of this, I have my Foxy Dory. This is the dragon fruit color in the size wide, and this is the mint tassel. And in this little Foxy Dory, I have my checkbook register, Right now, I'm using the May Designs book for my checkbook register. I have this little May Designs book that I am using to record all of the sticker shops that I'm featuring each month on my videos. And I have just a little folder that I use to keep stamps or receipts when I am out and about. And then last but not least, I have this little notebook right here that I've decorated the front that I use to keep track of all of my spending and deposits for my YouTube channel and my blog. So all of those items are contained inside of this Dragon Fruit Foxy Dory. And it fits nicely, so I could probably fit a few more notebooks in here if I wanted to. And then I have my Kate Spade Wellesley Agenda. This is the black, and I think it's the 2015 edition of it. It's got the hot pink lining. I'm not going to show you because I've got some personal information in it. But this is what I use for my wallet. It has my checkbook. It has all my credit cards, my debit card. It has insurance cards, medical cards a few to-do lists in the back, it's got deposit slips, anything that I might need that is associated with my checking account stays inside of this Kate Spade Wellesley agenda. So these two things are housed nicely inside of this Marine Parents iPad sleeve. Then next I have this little pin pouch that matches my iPad sleeve. And y'all, it just has highlighters. This is from Target. It's got some Statler markers or pins in there. We've got some, just some random pins. I did have a whiteout runner in here and then I took it out at school the other day and it had tore up. So if you use the little whiteout runners, how in the world do you keep them from tearing up inside of your pencil pouch? I cannot figure out. They don't have a cap on them. I love them, but it seems like every time I put them in a little pouch, it seems like they tear up right after I open them. So if you have any tricks, please let me know. I'm really interested in knowing that information. So that is my little pencil pouch. Then next we're gonna go through these two. The iPad sleep first. These are what I would call my little accessory pouches. This is my little accessory planner pouch. I have all of my little planning accessories in here. You're going to think I'm nuts before I get started. I have got three things of pens. I have my 10 count of my Statler pens. Then I just found and bought this set a couple weeks ago. This is just a set of four of the black Statler pens because I like the black so much. It seems like I use up the one that comes in the set. So I bought an extra set. I didn't know that they came in just black until a few weeks ago. And then I have my set of Erin Condren pens. So all three of these pen sets stay in here. Then I have my Toddy Year external charger in case I'm out and about and need to charge up my cell phone. Then I have another char wall outlet for my cell phone. And then I have two sticker books. So I've got two sticker books. And you've seen all the stickers that are contained inside of them. All of these are my Planner Society in here. Most of them are. And then the other one, I have my Reset Girl ones. 
And I just have a few other ones that I have in here. Flip through here. Some of them are the Planner Society. And some of them are from, I think, nope, Planner Society and the Reset Girl are in this one. So that is all I have inside of this iPad sleeve. And that is all of the contents inside of this Whipping Post tote. And I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I have in each one of these pouches. I have been organizing my handbags with pouches probably for the last probably year, year and a half. And it has worked out so great for me. I had the problem of having the purses that felt like a bottomless pit. I would stick my hand down there and try to figure out where the product was or the item that I was looking for and I would get frustrated every time. And then I started using pouches and it has worked great. So now if I'm looking for something, I just have to grab a single pouch and I don't have to stick my hand in the bottomless pit and try to figure out what I am looking for. So I think this process works great. Now, if you like the bag organization type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye.